The task of trimming and shoeing a horse is the profession of a farrier. Faith Abercrombie went to Tucson to learn more about the male-dominated profession and the females behind it. According to the American Farriers Journal, only about 6% of full-time farriers are female. I spoke with the Tucson School of Horseshoeing and found out what they're doing to improve this number. Trimming and horseshoeing is a tedious task, a task that owners Brody and Darius Kruger train and certify students to do. But they also teach their students to fight the stigma that only males can be farriers. When they're in this industry, they push. They push really, really hard because one, they have to beat the stigma about women not being able to do these jobs. Working with horses requires strength, patience, easy carrot and a bond. The women are generally more attention to detail and meticulous and that's what we need in this profession. The job of a farrier means a day in the office is spent bent over next to a 1,000 pound animal. Your toes are pointed, your knees are bent, you try to keep your back straight, 90% of the time it just doesn't happen end of the day gets tiring. Students in farrier school could spend up to all day shoeing just one horse. They are working up to do the job a graduated farrier can complete in as little as 45 minutes. You're not just going in and slapping shoes on a horse. You have to understand their body language. You have to understand that you have to make them comfortable to make you comfortable. Um, it, it, it's truly a beautiful dance. A dance that takes two to tango. I figure if I need my horse to be calm and gentle for me to work on their feet, then I need to present that to the horse. The physical change and mood shift in horses motivates them to be two of the less than 3,000 female farriers in the country. There you go. I give him a good trim or a good shoe job and he walks away with less of a limp. It's awesome. I shoe all of my own and it's like, you know what? If I don't like it, I'll change it. That's simple. The Tucson School of Horseshoeing said that over the years, they have began to see more and more female students train in their farrier courses. In the studio, I'm Faith Abercrombie.